What is up? I'm One Turtle, and today we have finally have our boxes of Rising Rampage. So we are going to open the entire box. Of course, we are searching for those new, the new rarity, Prismatic Rare, which got introduced in this set. Really excited about that. Um, I know that there's a lot of haters around it, but at the end of the day, like if you're in it for like the meta game, you know, I feel like that almost makes it easier. That the <clears throat> obviously the optimal or the best way to swag your deck is to use these prismatic rares so like the ultra rare secret rare variants are probably actually cheaper than they would have been if this didn't exist so you know i, I do think it's a good thing and to be honest like when I, by the time i got back into Yu-Gi-Oh, the whole ultimate rare ghost rare thing was over and to be honest i really like the idea of it so now is my chance to kind of get onto that idea of max rarity cards so there are a handful of these prismatic rares. The most expensive one, the God Bow, it's going for like 300 something dollars. Absolutely insane. And uh, there's a handful of them, and then obviously they trickle down. The cheapest one I could find was for like $75. It's still really high. And most likely the card is like not good at all. So we're going for that. And if we we're unable to pull that prismatic rare, we were definitely looking for that God of Bow. God of Bow, I think Appaloosa or something. Secret rare as a consolation prize. This almost looks like Diva from Overwatch. All right, Marinus Current, and then our first super is Simorg, Lord of the Storm. Pretty cool look looking card right there. And then Shitana. Interesting. Ten Ye Spirits, Cataclysmic, Cryonic Kalmdo, Kiki Yagashi Fucho. These are uh, set up, set up, set up or cut. <laughs> There's a lot of tongue twisters on here, a lot of uh, interesting names, feel like some, maybe some vowels are missing or something. <laughs> so I don't know, I don't know much about this set beyond the chase cards, uh, but we're just going to see, feel it out on our own because of that. Return to the normal, reversible beetle, interesting, oh it's like upside down works too. Defender of the labyrinth, that looks pretty cool, that's a very intimidating looking shield the sword not so much but uh, that that shield and then we have another super hypernova burst and then fist of the unrivaled ten Ooh. very uh, healthy nick right there uh, that would be like such a bittersweet nightmare more on the nightmare side if you pull the prismatic and I had a huge gash like that on the card I feel like if you're going to spend that much on a max rarity card, you definitely want it in mint condition. Dwimmered Glimmer. DW, that's a weird way to start a word. Bird of Protection again. Sky Battle. Link Mail Archfiend. Now that looks really cool. And then Fortune Vision. Is that more Fortune Fairy stuff? Blackout Curtain. Draw Discharge. Bird of Calamity. A lot of birds. And then a ma magistric ma magnician, not magician, magnician. What are these? What, what, did I get English packs? <laughs> it says English edition right on it. So if you have started to open up your rising rampages boxes, if you're starting to crack packs, let me know how it's going. Have you been fortunate enough to pull a prismatic? That would be. I would be super jealous and let me know if you did what you pulled and how many boxes it took you to get it. We have a Simorg, I gotta figure out how to pronounce this, Simorg of Darkness, looks like another bird, a lot of birds in this, Tenyi Spirit and a lot of Tenyi stuff. Elbors, what the, Yosen, okay that's not bad, Yosenju Izna, World Legacy Bestowal, more World Legacy cards. And looking at some different videos, it seems a number I've heard a couple times is 1.5 prismatics per case. I'm pretty sure a case. Ooh, our first Ultra Ikelos. Ikelos, the Dream Mirror Sprite. Pretty sure a box, I think it's 24. A case is 24 boxes, and a box is 24 packs. I'm just gonna grab my sleeves. Not entirely prepared for this. Put a box of sleeves over here. 
and uh, sleeve up this ultra. I don't think this is a very good ultra. Actually, I don't think there are many good ultras on this set. Uh, but for now, we're going to, at least for this first box, we're going to sleeve up all the ultras. And if you're just getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh, I know a bunch of my viewers have mentioned that. And you're looking for sleeves just because at least the sleeves that I always have on hand are the larger size for things like Pokemon and Magic the Gathering. If you are looking for sleeves that I'm using, you can look for it for an Amazon link down below. And uh, these are the KMC Hyper Mats, which are definitely my go-to sleeves for anything. And then Berserker of Tenyi. Looks pretty cool, looks pretty weak. Simmer Repulsion, Draw Discharge, and... Ooh, what is this? Lamia. Repul... Jeez, oh, these names. <laughs> Who's in charge of naming these cards? Imagine... Unless they just come up with nicknames, like if you're actually dual and then you actually try to use all the real names. It'd be very confusing. Marinesses, Marinesses, current. Seems like, um, I think there's a bunch of secrets or ultras with that archetype. Dream Mirror of Joy, Star Power. Beat Raptor, oh, this is the promo card in Neo Dark Neo Storm, I think? Beat Raptor sounds familiar. Nosenju Sword Sting and a Link Back and then DMZ Dragon. DMZ? What is DMZ? I know that as Demilitarized Zone. Alright, Defender of the Labyrinth. FA Shining Star GT. That car looks pretty cool. It looks like a car with two airplanes attached to it. <laughs> that thing must go fast. Return to the normal. Oh, yes! Okay, guys, we got the chase car. <laughs> Our first secret. So we didn't get the prismatic, although there still is time. And uh, yep, so this one actually, I'm pretty sure we'll recognize it prismatic if we pull it. But this is definitely a secret. You can kind of see that uh, specific foiling pattern. And this, I think this card is going for like 50, high 50s right now. Absolutely insane. Pays for almost the entire box. So we got the dream hit. Not the dream hit, but uh, the best non-prismatic card. Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. We want to take a look at that card and figure out why it's so expensive right now. Take a quick look. Put this back here and uh, wow. First quarter of the box and we got the one of the jackpots hits. So let's see what we get for another secret and still continue. One thing I'm not sure is if the Prismatic takes that secret rare slot. That'd be insane if it doesn't. Make Basically make all your openings super exciting from start to finish. White Aura Mono... Monoceros. Okay, interesting. Fist of Tenya again, Blackout Curtain, Fighting Dirty, Fury of Fire, and Yosenju Oroshi Channeling. A lot of very Japanese sounding names. And then also a lot of other, I'm pretty sure not Japanese, just confusing words. Yusenju Sabu. Sextet? <laughs> Thought I said something else at first. Volster. Vol. Vol. Voltester? Voltester? <laughs> Jumir. They, they do like a lot of like where they try to group up two words. Um. Morpheus, the Dream Mirror White Knight. Hmm. Don't like the idea. Look at that. Alright, let's see. A Dino Wrestler and then another DMZ Dragon. Alright, guys, as always, if you do enjoy this opening, and uh, <laughs> at least I know I'm loving it, I can't believe we pulled that Appaloosa. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And if you're not already, oh, our next Ultra, and it's Dragoonity Knight Romulus. I'll leave this right here for a second for you guys. But yeah, if you're not already a sub to the channel, definitely hit that sub button as well. Bell for notifications. We do a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh content, but we also specialize in the Pokemon TCG area and the new mobile game, Pokemon Masters. We are playing that game hard. So if, uh, if you want to know about it, definitely go check out some of our other videos. And if you do get into it, we're going to be posting a lot of content, a lot of tips and tricks, guides, some Pokemon sync pair reviews, and stuff like that. All right, let's see. More Marinus Sea Star. Marin? Marinus? I don't know. Dino Wrestler. Ran, Ran Ryu. Why does this sound so familiar? From like a OG OG card from like the Metal Raiders Blue Eyes era. 
the Simur Simorg of Darkness. I think we pulled that already. Fortune Fair, Fortune Lady, not Fortune Fair. Rewind. Another Beat Raptor. More Simurg. All right. As far as uh, pack arts go, this this thing has a lot going on. And then when I try to uh, consume exactly that picture, it's like, eh, that's just okay. Yeah, I feel like the word on the uh, I was gonna say word on the street, but maybe word around the YouTubes is that this set is actually pretty bad and all it has going for it is that prismatic new rarity prismatic rare when the fairy charm oh this is um looks like that hit or heat for the fair the fire version but um yeah the set overall is not that strong however it does have that new prismatic rare and i think that's kind of good you know, it means that if you don't care... Oh, here's that. <laughs> we just got that pack art card we're complaining about in our next Ultra Boralode X-Charge X -charge Dragon. As far as the Boralode Dragons go, this is not my favorite, but it's the XYZ version. And, uh, hey, we got the pack art and the Ultra Rare. Happy with that. To get at least one of those. But yeah, this uh, pack set's not that great. It does have the new rarity, and I think that's good. If you're not into chasing that uh, prismatic rare you know you can just buy your singles and be done with it and uh, I guess I guess if you do want to chase it that's not that good because if you actually if you come up short you know the Appaloosa is still still a good constellation prize and Iklos Dream Miramara and then as far as the long-term value of that of those prismatics if they started in a set that was not widely, you know, a lot of people aren't doing mass box openings, I feel like that would only help the prismatic rarity. So, you know, I can understand that people aren't happy with the set, but at the same time, I feel like for every, for all, you know, personas, there's like a silver lining to it. Avida, Rebuilder of the World. So, like, if this was a stacked set and it, and it introduced it, uh, I feel like there would just be so many, there would be more of the Prismatics on the open market. So as far as like people collecting, if you can somehow, if you can get it at a good price, I feel like the chances of it going up over the long term are high. And it helps that Appaloosa that the card, the card that's a $50 plus card, close to $60 card by itself. You know, that max rarity, that thing is absolutely insane. I think I saw like up to $400. White Aura Monoceros again, Tenyi Spirit Adhara. So we're starting to get a lot of dupes at this point, which is typical even for these kind of um, nine pack sets. And still looking, waiting for our second secret on the ultra rare slot. Like our app just kind of like started a new video file, but yeah, on our secret rare, or <coughs> excuse me, ultra rare slot, not bad. A lot of cool cards. I don't think we got any of the big hit. Dream Mirror of Terror, by though. Again, I don't think there are too many to be had. Oh boy. Look, I'm guessing the T is silent, or maybe the L is silent. To kill the Malevolent Majesty. Rare Beat Raptor. I feel like Beat Raptor always comes after the rare. Yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on this set in a comment down below. Got that mannequin cat. It's kind of cute. Rescue Interlacer, Dream Mirror Fantasy, and then a White Howling. I think this card's actually pretty good. Monk of the Ten Yi. Alright, as we wind down, our number of packs left. Alright, still want one more secret. Although at least we got the we got the big one out of the way. Sea Star. Ooh, another Ultra. Alright, for the Ultra, that might be it for the box. A Spirit Sculptor. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Sculpting some kind of looks like some kind of slime thing. Or it's some kind of ore and he did a really good job making it smooth. Leave it up here for a second. And we'll sleeve this bad boy in a second. Fuma wave. Bara Baba Baba <laughs> Sword Sting and Fumo. Okay. My piles are becoming undone, so just gotta fix that real quick. And oh, let me sleeve up this ultra. Don't think it's necessary, but Alright. Handful of packs left. Four packs left. Please don't get me. Even if you give me the best secret, don't get give me a one secret box. 
Sky Battle, Yosinju Sabu. Ooh, here we go. Magical Libra. Almost, it reminded me of Candelabra from Magic the Gathering. And we have a first Pendulum or Super. Meio Senju Hitat. And then, ooh, this looks new too. Some kind of mech bird. It's actually kind of ugly. Dino Wrestler, Rogue of Endy Mion, and Fuma Wave. Three packs, where is our second secret? Oh, no, no. Actually, I don't want a secret. I want a prismatic. Here we go. So, I think it, based on that, that ratio, I think it's one in every 16, assuming all my numbers are correct, which maybe they're not. If, if I'm not correct, let me know in a comment. But, uh, yeah, I think it's one out of 16. What is that? Six is seven percent, six point something percent chance <laughs> per box. That's not that good chance. It's almost like a gotcha game at that point. All right, Ryan Ryu. Current Voltester Mannequin Cap and then a Dream Mirror of Oh boy, come on. Man, I guess even if we don't get another secret, I mean I would say we probably came out even after the price of that bow of the goddess. But man, that would be super disappointing. Here we go. Is our second secret slash prismatic in this pack right here. Here we go. Last pack magic engage. And we have a Ran Ryu, the current Volt Tester. Oh man, that is disappointing. Silver lining is we got the Chase card. Let's just double check. The chance of missing a secret are insanely low, but I've probably made sillier mistakes. This card does look really cool. Man, that's pretty disappointing. No no get outs or anything. Wow, we got kind of shafted on this box. Although we probably came out even in the end. Luckily our only secret was a home run. But hmm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty disappointed. Alright, quick recap of the entire box. We have Spirit Sculptor, Borload X Charge Dragon, Dragoonity Knight Romulus, Kelos the Dream Mirror Sprite, and then the only secret, uh, uh, Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. So at least we got the chase card in secret rare form. But uh, yeah, that man, that stung. I feel like I just got attacked by a battle wasp. Um, but uh, that's it for today's video. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.